So in a one line, simple line, uh, be honest, share your problem, interact with people, spare some time, discuss your fear is in first step to counter mental health issue. We all want to look normal and good. Human beings are not born to look normal and good all the time in all the situation. Sometimes you want to cry. Sometimes you are weak. Sometimes you are insolvent. Uh, what a T.S. Eliot said, don't get up in the morning. You make a face in order to beat the faces. Very inspiring. And, um, and I think it's really a big thing that we need to consider going forward as we get more into the this kind of realms. I think what you touch about the importance of connections that is not just without devices, because we are really making a very, very, very big focus on the devices and not on the human side. So I really appreciate these words and actually I take it very serious because we need really to, to work more on this. Um, okay, so, so right now I'd like to touch a bit of the work you've been doing in terms of uh, the different parts of your more entrepreneurial side. Um, so you have multiple projects that you've been doing. So if you want to highlight the ones that you're more active, and uh, I think it's difficult sometimes to look at them because you have a lot of things. And I share that with you, but just a, a bit of an overview about, about you on that level. Two yeah. things is which one I have not spoken publicly still is that I'm doing something with the way the cricket is in India. I am coming out with an interesting content which is related to the sports. The cricket is a religion. Cricket is growing. Cricket is going to be in the USA as well. Uh, I have a lot of friends who are cricketer, actually is a former captain and otherwise also. Uh, so I'm doing something in a cricket, which is which is not what mainline cricket does with it. Um, why am I doing in a cricket? Um, I feel the fear of a corona or a death. I want to bring, let's play. Let's bring the game on. Let's go back and play. And, you know, it will be valid throughout life. Sometimes you play uh, sports. Sometimes you play with words. Sometimes you play with art object. Don't stop playing. Is, is, so we are creating some interesting content on that. That's the one part of it. And uh, we recently started content generation which we wish to do for OTT. And OTT is going to, it's a $3.5 billion industry right now in the country. They are saying in three years time, it is likely to touch about $16 billion. There is a crisis of a content across the globe, I feel, when it comes to a story, scripts, ideas, and a thought. And we are pretty strong in that. So we got into that area as well. These are two things that I would like to talk right now. Yeah, so let's talk about the, the content and I want to put an additional layer there. Um, so I think on this work that you've been doing, so as a writer and me as a writer as well, so definitely there's, there's first of all the writing, conventional writing and the, the writing right now for social networks, for, for, yes. for even for media, for interactive media, for metaverse and, and of course everything related right now with artificial intelligence. So how do you see this new iteration of writing that we have in the web the so-called web 3.0 that you're going to be having incredibly getting bigger that is something you know you have to understand from indian point of view so recently let's say i give you an example there's a lady who did a very interesting interview with 100 people 100 people she asked do you know nft so 99 percent said no she asked do you know web 3 was in metaverse they said no that's the constant state of knowledge in the country as far as uh, Metaverse or Web3 goes. I personally feel uh, it's a huge opportunity first time, let's say for a creator to get away from a bigger label, bigger corporation monopolies, have their own identity, work together, create together locally relevant content which is, uh, you know, uh, a globally still valid, I feel. I see it in that way rather than seeing it in any other way. It is, it is going to democratize 
and make it more it's like a pyramid what i call is base is going to be far more wider which is what is the most exciting part of it i feel no completely i, I think it's this is going to be um probably the the most important thing actually for this new stage of society 5.0 so I, I want to touch, coming back to content, because I think people listening to us, I think there's a lot of discrepancies about what is writing content in the digital age. And uh, like you said, most of the people don't know what is metaverse, they don't know what is NFTs. Um, and most of the people don't even use, still have problems finding internet access with good quality, let's put it that way. Um, so so I think, for instance, even having just a smart uh, smartphone, not everyone has a smartphone. Uh, for instance, I was in Sri Lanka just a couple of days ago, and the uh, some people that I was in the streets, they had like a, a small uh, a small phone and they would say, okay, do you have WhatsApp? And in fact, they didn't, um, which is kind of a very basic stuff, but it's kind of key because most of the people use two, three different apps. And this is quite a big thing. So how do you see this kind of, especially the content in the digital age, but as well, the importance of writing. And you touch, for instance, the, the idea of, creating relationships, not just with the machines, which we're doing. Most of our time right now is five, six hours with digital devices. We might be doing multiple tasks, but in fact, we're spending more time with our devices than actually probably with our families and relatives. So I would like to see, how do you see the, the creation, first of all, the creation of content and the interaction with content as well, because I know that it's one of your areas of expertise and passion. I see, let's, let me give you an example. Let's say there are a lot of e-commerce companies and products and services which has come in a children's space in India. But if you talk about content being produced for children in the last two decades in the country, it's dramatically very less. Okay, I'm just giving you an example. Uh, the demand for the content is going to be extremely huge, including video or a writing. It's also challenging that there are less number of writers these days who can churn out mature content. So I see that this is this is a lot which is going to happen because in last two weeks I am seeing almost three big international companies uh, announcing, let's say, they will be going in ott and content and everybody knows the content is going to be the main area so there is huge amount of investment which is happening but but if you don't come from a reading writing background i personally feel it will be very challenging for you to run an entrepreneurial organization which is which is into a content centric business a content centric company which is primarily producing content for different mindset and for different age. So you're not producing content for financial literacy, let's say. If you're, you have to produce a content for a children's bedtime story, because these stories will change because their life has changed. The, the stories which were relevant in the past is no longer relevant. I have a, I have a, you know, my wife's niece is about, seven year who is a, she's a writer in her writing i can see that the reference is not india anymore she has sent some she's published already at the age of eight her references are castle of uk because her television exposes her to different kind of a world her memories and fantasies are changing so i i see their content is going to be an extremely exciting area. And I think that's why it's getting more and more expensive in sense of uh, earlier writer used to get paid very less. They are getting huge amount of money now for writing content. I'm not talking of digital content, which comes in form of articles. I'm talking of a hardcore literary content, which is used for various kinds of things, whether OTT, television, short video capsules, YouTube, etc or a podcast, let's say.